Hey, and welcome to day 54 of 1,350 days. So far, I have 10 sales to report uh, since Monday. I'm not gonna put the um, figure up yet because today is uh, Success Club day, so I'll be going to Success Club. I'm leaving in about an hour, actually, and giving a talk. There's a chance I might make some sales at the talk, so I'm gonna leave the count till later. I'll show you guys a bit of footage from the talk and we'll get the count up after that. But yeah, 10 sales, 10 sales since Monday, obviously thanks to AMS, which is great. Total is now up to 1,148. Really enjoying this boost AMS is going, giving me. But if you watch the video from day 51, obviously this isn't doesn't come without a downside as well. So today I've just really been preparing for Success Club and I'll show you guys my notes right now. So here we've got my notes and this is a Power of Your Subconscious Mind Masterclass. That's the theme for Success Club this evening. These are my notes, the ones in, in black. I, do, I go through a four part process basically. I write everything out in my diary, sorry, in my notebook there, so that's full of notes. Then I put it down on paper, the black, First of all, I do it in black, which is the black ink, which is the notes for the, the members who are coming tonight. Then the red are my notes with the extra versions on. So that's three different parts. Fourth part is a dress rehearsal, which I've just been doing. And then I go ahead and deliver it. Really enjoy doing this, looking forward to it. I'm pumped. Uh, you might get some footage from the event and then you will get some, uh, the final day count afterwards. So I will see you next at the event. Uh, classified them as visualization techniques and uh, written statement techniques and basically I've written them down for you a very brief guide on your sheets so you can take them away and use them in your own time and I'll just give you a bit more in-depth explanation about how to do that now so visualization the frequency he recommends doing this on waking in the morning and going to bed at night now he says his words and this is when it's the greatest outcropping of your subconscious mind at these times. I think what he's saying basically is this when you, this is when you're able to access your subconscious. You're still in a slightly drowsy state when you're completely alert and aware and consciously engaged in something you're doing. It's not a good time to try to impress a belief. It's not a good time to try and reach the lower part of the iceberg. However, when you're still drowsy, that is the best time to do this visualization technique an affirmation that you are healthy and my body functions perfectly that's a good thing to, to work with uh, one I really like is I have the answer or there's a solution to every problem you know that's a belief when a statement I like and I like to remind myself of because when I say I have the answer even though I'm struggling with something and I can't figure out what the next step is or I don't know what the next move is I kept telling myself I have the answer I know that invariably a month, a week down the line, I will get a lead or an answer on what it is I, I have been struggling with. So that always works for me. Okay, I am back, or I'm heading back, heading back home after Success Club, after a very successful Success Club. I think we broke attendance records. I think I had about uh, 29 people there tonight, which was great. I sold two copies of the book, so the total is now 1,150 for uh, day 54, which is great. Um, but it was more than that. It wasn't just about selling the books. It was a great evening. It was uh, really fun doing the talk. It was well received. I got a lot of um, positive feedback, and it's a real buzz. I'm in, in a state of uh, euphoria at the moment over it. And it makes me think, actually, to anyone who's out there watching this who has a similar dream. It doesn't have to be selling books or being a speaker. It could be anything. It could be acting, musician, want to play sports, whatever it might be. Um, I spent a good 10 years, maybe a bit less than 10 years, never expressing what was inside of me, never getting it out, never revealing it to the world, containing it because I thought it might be, wouldn't be accepted or challenged or rejected. And I've learned that this feeling of euphoria, this high you get, can only really be accomplished by expressing yourself. Thoreau said, um, most men leave lives of quiet desperation and go to the grave with a song still in them. And it's such a powerful quote. 
It's actually not entirely his quote, which is funny enough. He said, most men led leave lives of quiet desperation. I don't know where the extra part got added on, but it fits perfectly. You do not want to die having not revealed your song to the world. You've got to get your song out. And when you do, you will feel great. That's my, my thought for today. Thanks for watching and tune in for um, next, uh, the next episode, which will be on Monday. See you then.